Today, we're installing the Senville 12,000 BTU 115 volt mini split in my friend's garage. He spent hours working on his cars and other hobbies, and it gets unbearably hot in there, especially in the California summer. He was using a big, loud, bulky water cooling machine to keep his shop cool. The shipment from Senville was flawless. It came in four packages, all of them easy to lift with the help of a friend. First, there was the compressor then the wall mounted unit, the accessories such as the cooling coils, and then the line set cover kit that will cover all the lines if you choose. But before we start, let's make sure we have all of the necessary tools and materials. Here's a brief rundown of the tools I needed. A drill with a hole saw bit, a stud finder, a level, measuring tape, screwdrivers and wrenches, electrical supplies including a disconnect switch and wiring. First thing though is to make sure the mini split is sized for the area or room you want to install the unit in. Check the BTU output and with the brand to make sure you don't undersize the unit. With today's installation, our unit can cool up to 700 square feet. Now it's time to get started. First, I had to decide where the indoor unit will be placed. It should be high on the wall, enough for maximum efficiency, with at least 6 feet of clearance from the ground. You'll find in the instructions that you will need to be 6 inches from the ceiling and 5 inches from any sidewall. We also want to ensure there's enough room for circulation. I use the stud finder to locate the studs. Mounting the indoor unit's brackets into the studs is crucial for supporting the weight of the unit. Once I located the studs, I installed the mounting bracket. Make sure it's perfectly level using a level tool. Mark the holes, drill the pilot holes, and screw the bracket securely into place. I was able to mount the four screws into the wall support. Now that the bracket is up, we need to drill a hole through the wall for the refrigerant lines, drain hose, and power cable. There are two ways to run the lines. One would be through the back of the unit, the other out the side. Since our mounting location was on a wall that was not near the exterior of the garage, it was decided to go out the side of the wall unit. This is easy to do since Senville has a knockout that is easy to cut and by using a pair of needle nose pliers, I was able to snap the piece out with no problems. Next, I used a 3 inch hole saw to drill the hole. This hole should have a slight downward angle to allow for proper drainage. I did have to go through a stucco and exterior which is common for my area but that was a breeze to chip through. I just drilled some holes around the edges and then knocked out the hole with the hammer. Now we can thread the refrigerant lines, drain hose, and power cable from the indoor unit through the hole to the outside. I made sure the lines are free of kinks and laid neatly through the opening. With the lines in place, lift the indoor unit and hook it into the mounting bracket. It should snap securely into place. Double check that it's level and that the lines are running smoothly through the wall or side of the unit as I did in my installation. Now let's head outside to install the compressor unit. Make sure to choose a location with good airflow and at least 12 inches away from the wall. You can place it on a concrete pad or use rubber mounts to reduce vibration. My friend had the perfect location right outside the back garage door on the concrete deck. Now we'll connect the refrigerant lines that we ran from inside. When you first undo the plug on the lines from the wall unit, don't worry if you hear this sound. That is just the nitrogen escaping from the unit. It is harmless and used to fill the line while in transport. Now, I used a wrench to tighten the connections, but don't over tighten. Just snug enough to ensure there's a good seal. Next, and this is one of the most critical aspects of hooking up the Senville mini split. Referred to as vacuuming the lines, this part must be performed by a professional in order to make sure that the refrigerant is introduced into the lines properly and keeps from voiding all warranties. I asked my good friend Jason to help me with this task since he is a licensed HVAC technician. Here we show how the vacuum system works and you can see the pressure dropping, demonstrating the system is working properly and removing the air from the copper lines. Once completed, refer to the manual on how to check for leaks in the system. This process only took 25 minutes. Now that the line set is connected and vacuumed, I was able to cover the lines with plastic covers that come with the unit. These covers are easy to install. The brackets get screwed to the walls and the actual cover just snaps and slides into place. These help keep the lines out of sight. Now, let's install the electrical disconnect box. This is an important safety feature that allows you to easily cut off power to the mini split when needed. I mounted the disconnect box on the wall near the compressor. For the electrical wiring, you'll need to run a dedicated 115 volt line from your breaker panel to the disconnect box. 
Inside the box, I connected the wires according to the manufacturer's instructions. If you're not familiar with electrical work, hiring a licensed electrician is highly recommended to ensure that the unit will run properly. Since I have wired many different disconnects over the years as a contractor, I was confident to proceed. I did install a fuse disconnect and made sure, per the instructions, not to install anything greater than a 25 amp fuse for this particular model. Once the disconnect was installed, I connected the power cable from the compressor unit to the disconnect box. I double checked all connections to ensure they were secured properly. I used a liquid tight conduit so that the wires will last years out of the sun and are protected year round. Now it's time to turn on and test the system. I used the remote that came with the unit and switch the mini split to cooling mode. I checked that the indoor unit was blowing cold air. I then stepped outside and verified that the compressor was running smoothly. If everything's working properly, you'll notice a significant drop in temperature in the garage within a few minutes. I use a thermometer to check the temperature of the air coming from the indoor unit. I couldn't believe how cold the air was. By using an infrared thermometer, I measured the air coming out of the unit between 51 and 48 degrees. That is some cold air, if I do say so myself. One of the best features of the Senville Mini Split is using the Alexa app on your phone. By installing the Smart Control Kit on your Mini Split, you can turn on the unit or set the temperature from your mobile device by using Alexa. It is easy to use. Watch this. Alexa, turn on Mini Split. And the Senville Mini Split turns right on. You can even use the Alexa device to set a schedule so that the cool air starts before you even enter the room. Turning the temperature up or down has never been easier and can be done from any room you have Alexa plugged in. Turn temperature to 62. Turn temperature to 62. Okay, turn on mini split. Also, the line airflow was faster than I thought it would be. Within 10 minutes, the garage was feeling so much better. And that's it. The outside unit was really quiet, compact, and didn't take up too much room. My friend's garage is now cool and comfortable even on the hottest days, thanks to the Senville Mini Split. This will make all those long hours working on his cars and hobbies much more enjoyable. And just as a reminder, the Senville Mini Split acts as a heater for those cold winter nights out in the shop. I also love how the wall unit just blends in, almost unnoticeable, except for the nice cool air coming from the unit. It can also be installed in the dining, bed, or living room, bringing quiet, cool air to your home where you need it the most. The best part about a mini split is not about how easy and affordable they are to install, but the ability to keep certain rooms cool or hot and not worry about other areas that don't use as much. If you want to install your own Senville mini split like the one featured in this video or choose from the many different options available, check out the links below. A special thanks to Senville for sponsoring this video.